Hello, bag family. Back with another brief video. I hate to keep showing you guys the same old content, but hey, the data life is such that in the Gambian stuff, okay? As we was on our way to the land today uh, with uh, so, some, some supplies and things of that sort, as we left C4 and was headed toward Bag, we came toward this little section of the road where it was packed with about 20, 30 cows. And instead of the herder saying, hey, cows, you know, move on out the way, let this vehicle go past, he just stopped and just looked at him. Just looked at us and the cows just sit there. So I went up on him, almost about to tap him and stuff, and I was blowing the horn like, hey, get out the way, get out the way. And so anyway, I got stuck in the road right here. This is when one of those tin wheels was delivering some uh, road material for another uh, development area out here. I'm gonna say across from Bang. So anyway, they developed this big old crater in the road right here, this big old crater. But anyway, right here's where I got stuck because of the cows. So when I put it in four wheel drive, you know what I'm saying? It um, dug out, but then again, this, this part right here broke down. Let me show it to you, you know? We had somebody, if you saw the video with the, um, with the uh, the master mechanic, we both knew that it wasn't gonna last long, but as long as I wasn't carrying anything heavy, I would have been good. But hopefully you can see, right? Up under here, this part right here broke. Now this is a yoke right here. Now this is called a yoke. I hope you can see it in the glare. It's not that much, that's a better angle. But see when I'm turning right here, this is the yoke. And the first time this part right here, which is the universal joint broke off from here and it always leaves this part in. I guess this part is tight and this part here is loose because of this clamp. Now, when, when I had ordered the yoke, you know, uh, shout out to Big Z for bringing in this yoke part force. Now we did not know that the yoke does not come with this clamp or these four screws. You understand what I'm saying? And so now uh, we're gonna put the word out to anybody that's coming to Gambia within the next few days or so to help us out. We don't mind reimbursing you or cash apping you, whatever. We need this clamp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order four, a replacement, and then an additional set. And also I'm gonna order an additional set of these four screws with also two universal joints. Now, what I had uh, Big Z bring over, which is one of our subscribers and a friend, he brought the yoke and he brought the universal joint which goes in here that's broke off into this part down here. So the mechanic is trying to find us so we can put this bad boy back in motion. What he's trying to find now is this clamp and two screws, cause this one is chipped off a little bit. And this one here is just broke off in the old yoke. So he got to take this whole yoke off, put the new one on and put a clamp on with these four screws. Now that's like probably in the Gambia, uh, looking for a needle in the haystack, but yet still it's the case. We do see a lot of uh, Fords broke down, school buses. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if they're 350, 250, or 450 uh, uh, Fords, but we do see them. Hopefully the ancestors bless us and um, we can find these uh, two clamps and two screws so we can put the truck back in motion and stuff. So apart from that, um, uh, we don't have any other problems. We still uh, trying to get our money reimbursed from the um, Gambian National Petroleum Company who gave us some bad fuel with water in it. Trying to get reimbursed from them. 
that's like, you know, uh, again, trying to find a needle in the haystack, trying to get some justice and stuff. So anyway, we broke down right here and we're waiting on the mechanic. So this part right here. Now, they do have universal joints over here. I don't know if you can see them. Right here. They do have universal joints over here like this, but they are not the quality of that you can find in America and stuff. So anyway, that's what's going on with us today. We were supposed to... <coughs> whew, we're supposed to dig out some mounds today but um you know we've been broke down here for about two hours sweet juice of mama did uh a part of a video where you know she was talking about how comfortable she was sitting out here with all this green vegetation and trees but i'm irritated as hell because one of the things i found out in our six years of staying here in the Gambia in comparison to the illusion in the illusion the bottom line and I'm, I'm looking at the, 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 the biggest obstacle in the illusion the biggest obstacle you, you got to overcome is fighting with devils that's the biggest obstacle now you got some coons and bed winches that get in your way from time to time you know what I'm saying? But uh, if you got enough power and drive and determination, you can overcome um, um, the skin folks that ain't kin folk. You know what I'm saying? But the devil, that is the biggest obstacle to your success in the illusion. And I'm pretty sure anybody that's in Canada, America, Spain, Guatemala, Germany, you know, places like that, that's dominated by devils, you know, have problems with them and stuff. You see what I'm saying? And so when you come to Africa, in comparison, you got a lot of things besides the devil that's going to nitpick at your success. And some of them, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is throughout the African continent, and to a lesser degree the difference in the countries but you're going to have problems with road conditions and as we told you if you bring a vehicle we don't bring no new vehicle make sure you bring your four by four with some replacement parts if you guys are paying attention to what we're saying you can make it if you come over here with a four by four vehicle with some replacement parts now you can come over here and buy your four by four you know what i'm saying uh, that that may work for you, but if you've got a vehicle in the illusion that's a four by four, that's in pretty good shape. You need to bring that and stuff because the roads are horrific. I mean, you got some blacktop roads here, but there's a lot of potholes. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if we can continuously complain and whine about how the Europeans underdeveloped Africa. I haven't read that book yet, but I can see the lack of development on the African continent because of the Europeans. But how long can we ride that wave? You know what I'm saying? We got to get off of that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they've done that and they're continuously doing it. Now, what are we going to do about it? We ain't going to pray our way out of it. We ain't going to vote our way out of it. Hey, it's going to be some blood. You can take that for what it's worth. It's going to be some blood sweat and some tears that's the way we're gonna get our way out of it and stuff okay but until then guys uh, it's gonna be business as usual you can see the exploitation that's going on over here on a daily basis what's happening brother all right, all right you gonna be able to get past can you get around get her, nah. okay. <laughs> just go around yeah, yeah. okay then yeah. all right okay. yeah but uh yeah you can see the continuous exploitation of devils that are coming over here. Now, not only have they colonized and enslaved the African continent, which they continue to do to this day, and it just blows my damn blood that people act like, well, you know, what's the problem with the African continent and stuff? It's the damn devils. 
It's the damn devils and the continuous exploitation of the African continent. But you know, we got segments that are sick and tired of the exploitation. I say probably a small segment, but the vast majority just want to live in peace, boo. I don't know how else to convey to you we're not going to be able to live in peace with continuous exploitation from devils. You understand what I'm saying? Now, uh, true enough, the Chinese have never colonized us or enslaved us, just the Arabs and the Europeans. Those are our two greatest enemy amongst the coons in our midst. Once we decide to strap up and fight the power guys, hey, that's when we're going to make some progress. You know what I'm saying? School systems, hey, they're controlled by the devils. You know, one of the things that we have noticed in our six years over here in the Gambia is that uh, anybody can set up a school system over here. Anybody. And you got to teach the same old crap. You know, hey, learn a foreign language, French, Arabic, English, Spanish, German, whatever. You're not going to learn your own language. You're not going to you're not going to learn anything in the school systems over here cuz I know we had two kids in the school system over here. You're not going to learn anything in the school system to teach you how to, to protect those valuable resources. Those valuable resources that we got that the whole world wants and demand and comes over here and rape, steal and pillage for until we start teaching our youth to fight for that with blood, sweat and tears. We're going to always have conditions like this. Poor roads, poor infrastructure. You know, as we drive back and forth from the land to where we're renting, it's a travesty to see all those beautiful melanated kids on the side of the road having to walk four or five miles or kilometers or whatever the case may be to and from school. That's a travesty. You understand? But it's business as usual. You know what I'm saying? Because of the continuous exploitation of resources and people included in the natural resources uh, from foreigners and stuff. And now we got the Chinese coming in as we slowly work our way off and under the Arabs and the Europeans, here come the Chinese. Now they never in, enslaved us, but that's not saying that they won't. You know what I'm saying? But I say, hey, just be cautious, just be cautious. And so anyway, I just wanted to share this and I hate continuously showing the content of the vehicle breaking down, but that's part of our journey. You understand what I'm saying? And plus, um, it's gonna go in the, it's gonna go down in history, you know, uh, as we've finally passed this final curve and make our way to the land We'll sit back and watch this video, me and Sweet Juicy Mama, and we'll be laughing about the times that the vehicle kept breaking down uh, and the fraudulent mechanics that we took it to. Now, if we could have bypassed those first two mechanics, now when I first bought the truck, it was in, I'm gonna say semi-mint condition. Semi-mint condition. You just feel the transmission kick a little bit from time to time, but you still do now. You know, it was a semi uh, crack windshield right there in the middle, but the mechanic, the second mechanic did this. The first mechanic started doing wiring problems. You know what I'm saying? Messing with the electrical system. And once we finally found the master mechanic and you've seen him on our, our videos promoting his work, once we finally found the master mechanic, we had so much work that we had to undo uh, to try to get it back to uh, semi-mint running conditions. And we're going to get it that way. You know what I'm saying? It's a good truck. Excellent for the conditions over here that I just mentioned. You know, it's a 4x4. Four four. Everything is good. But, again, like I say, we have to fight not only devils, Kim folks or skin folks or kin folks who ain't skin folks or skin folks who ain't kin folks. You know what I'm saying? You just, it just seems like you got to fight so many things over here 
on the African continent. And I'm going to venture to say it's continent wide. You've got to fight so many obstacles because they don't want us here. They much rather let the road, the road stay like this for century after century after century. That makes the Gambia in particular or the continent ripe for foreigners to come in and rape and pillage and continue. Now, once we get these roads uh, fixed up, people start coming here, you know, they'll have a fight on their hands. Everybody won't want to be running away back way or, you know, running to America to get their little fancy degree or get into the government system in America when you could have got into the government system here and changed it. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you don't get anything else out of what I'm saying right here, guys, Africa is the future. We need to come on over here and make those sacrifices to get it built for our future generations. Now, if they don't want to come, hey, so be it. Let them stay in the illusion and they'll reap what they sow. But for us, for those of us that want to make the sacrifice to come over here and build it for the future generations so we can lead the planet back into safety again instead of letting the devils exploit you know, we got to do something, guys. We got to do something. And this is this is the battleground right here on the African continent to fix uh, systems like this right here. You understand what I'm saying? So that's my uh, rant for the day, guys. I hope you understood what I uh, was ranting about. Uh, this is the battleground. This is ground zero. You know what I'm saying? Come on over here and make that sacrifice. You know, as more of us come over here and start networking with each other, this right here would be a done deal. This right here would be a done deal. You know what I'm saying? We'd be looking at other things to pursue other than basic needs. All right. So talk to you guys next video. Love y'all. Please continue to subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video and make a comment if you like. All right. See you next video, family. Bye.